Hi, my name is Jahil Oliver. I'm the CEO of Hello Tractor. And Jahil, how did the idea for Hello Tractor come about? Um, well, at the very core of Hello Tractor is um, the mission to improve smallholder farmers' income. And uh, we saw an opportunity to get involved in mechanization because that's one of the few areas in agriculture where there's a lot of commercial untapped potential. And a commercially viable solution that could scale was something that was really important uh, to me, coming from kind of more of a, a more private sector background. And so, uh, so yes, yeah, so I was actually hosting a seminar at Erie, mm. came across the idea, and thought, wow, this idea could grow some legs. Mm. And I uh, kind of just worked on it over time and eventually became Hello Tractor. And you're no longer selling tractors, are you? So what's the change you've made in the business? Yeah, we, we, uh, we pivoted away from selling tractors directly into the market uh, this past January to really focus on the technology. What we saw was there was appetite for the technology, but the tractor, uh, for a variety of reasons, wasn't as suitable for Nigeria. And it also required a massive amount of investment um, everything from spare parts supply chain to a functional assembly mm -hmm. operation um, and it, that's just not a burden that a small yeah. company should should take on. Too big a reach. Exactly. And so what are you now selling? What's the product? So our, our core product right now is, is technology, uh, software specifically, and a monitoring device that a tractor owner places on that tractor. Once they place that monitoring device on the tractor, they have full visibility into where their tractor is, what it did, uh, a full record of what their operator is doing with their tractor, if they're hiring a driver for their machine, and then also a booking app that allows individuals to go out and coordinate jobs that that tractor owner can connect to to, to earn money with their machine. So in Africa at the moment, there's a relatively small number of tractors, yeah. but how are they being used? So, I mean, 80% of the tractors in the market are purchased by the government. Um, those tractors are oftentimes underutilized and they have a very short useful life mm. uh, because of poor maintenance mm. and uh, after sales support. Uh, and so, but we really focus on that 20% that that's commercially purchased. Mm. The technology is great for government programs as well, um, but you know, we think that if, if a commercial buyer of a tractor, financing that tractor mm. with a commercial bank loan, if they can succeed, then of course this, this technology is something that's going to really kind of tip the scales mm. in African mechanization and, and even beyond Africa. And how is the company financed? So I was, you know, the majority of our funding, you know, 75% uh, of our funding is grants and the remaining 25% is private investment. And what have you got planned in the next 18 months to two years in terms of expansion? Yeah, over the next 18 months, we really want to aggressively expand um, across uh, Africa. But then also, we're really excited about South Asia. We're starting in Bangladesh this year um, through a partnership with, uh, with IDE. Uh, and Simit is actually involved with that mm. as well, uh, with that program. Um, so we're really excited about expanding really across the emerging markets and mm. what's interesting about the technology focus is it allows us to expand very rapidly in, into new markets. Um, mm. We just ship our devices out. Um, we've had to do some modifications to the technology, sometimes uh, through, you know, localizing the tech with local languages. We do voiceover in some of our uh, features for uh, users that have low literacy mm. rates. So we have to do some, some language some modification around. there. Yeah. Exactly. But it's a lot easier than setting up a tractor manufacturing mm. facility. <laughs> no, absolutely. But you're also, I mean, we're here at a conference which is about big data and agriculture. Sure. Yeah. One of the things you've got now is the ability to collect data. Describe to me the sorts of data that the uh, tractor will be able to right. so, gather. Yeah, so through the, uh, the GPS antenna, what we're finding is we're collecting really interesting data points on farmer location, uh, plot boundaries, plot size, and when in the season those farmers plant. And so those are really important data points that up until now were only available through traditional surveying mm. methods, sending enumerators out, quite expensive and oftentimes unreliable. Mm. We have really interesting ground truth data that I think uh, when you layer on some additional tools like GIS analytics, mm. 
you can really extend the value you're providing that individual farmer beyond mechanization. So, and, you know, some things like, you know, what, should I apply more fertilizer to my plot? Mm. Um, am I, have I irrigated enough? Mm. Um, we can give that information in real time in a very low cost way. Um, and I think that's something that we're really excited about and working more closely with uh, the CG centers to, to bring in that, that, uh, those innovations.